It's been another painful day for Parkland families reliving those harrowing moments of the Stoneman Douglas massacre. And video from the rampage was played out in court today as several students and teachers who survived shared their gut-wrenching testimony during the shooter's sentencing trial. Local 10's Christina Vasquez live down with the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with today's developments. Christina. This was certainly a tough day for families that were in the courtroom, but also for jurors who can tell you were very attentive as they heard these former students essentially talk about a glorious Valentine's Day day happy that just completely dissolved into chaos, loud bursts, debris, and then they heard them recount seeing their friends shot and killed. Annika and Mitch Duarte hold the rare distinction of having two children shot in the same mass school shooting incident. Their son Nicholas died. Their son Alex was hurt. Feeling a sensation on the back of my head. And today testified not just about the moment he realized then, he was wounded. You know, I touched the back of my head and then my hand was all bloody. But calmly delivered gut-wrenching testimony about what he saw. Murder victim Alex Schachter shot and killed while he was still at his classroom desk. A pile of blood like forming under him and I saw his body trying to take his like final breaths. Jurors heard from other students who were one of the 17 hurt that day. There's blood all over me. So when I turned, I got hit. Who watched classmates die. I saw um, Helena, like, um, I noticed that she had passed away. We walked over two bodies. Two of which were shot dead um, right next to me. Samantha Fuentes told jurors she realized she was hurt when blood began pouring into her eyes and that she still lives with shrapnel embedded in her body. I keeped my head past the podium to look at the door. Uh, that is where I saw a crew standing there. Pop, pop, pop. And English teacher Dara Haas breaks down as she recounts students screaming. One of the students was injured. Um, it, um, he didn't have time to make it out of the, to make it out of his um, desk. Um, who, who was that, Ms. Haas? Um, that was Alex Schachter. Another powerful moment in her testimonies when she also breaks down, just remembering police trying to escort them out. And she says she just wanted to stay with the students who were injured and couldn't walk out of that school. Meantime, the jurors did see surveillance video of Nicholas Cruz gunning down his victims in the hallways of that school. That video is not being made public, but some of us in the media had an opportunity to view it just a short time ago. And I can tell you in seeing it, I can now better understand the body language of jurors as they sat with their hands over their mouths because in some cases uh, you do see him uh, shoot one of the victims and then double back and shoot at them again. Again, the state is trying to compel these jurors to vote for death and this evidence is supposed to go to their argument that it was cold, calculating, heinous and atrocious. Reporting live for you from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.